More than a week has passed since two Hamden and Yale police officers open fired on a car in New Haven, but the investigation continues. Just fired. 20 shots fired. Argyle shot. Officers Devin Eaton and Terrence Pollock were investigating what was believed to be an armed robbery when they shot into a car driven by 21-year-old Paul Witherspoon with 22-year-old Stephanie Washington in the passenger seat. The shots injuring Washington. Connecticut State Police are conducting the investigation and have not yet found any evidence of a gun in the targeted vehicle. However, they did release the body camera video from Officer Eaton. Q30 News reached out to the Connecticut State Police, but they have not yet gotten back to us. There have been multiple protests in Hamden and New Haven following the incident, and among those protesters were several Quinnipiac students. When my roommate had told me that there was a shooting involving Hamden police, I was kind of shocked. And so I really wanted to see what was going on. So obviously we each did our research on it and then we decided to drive down and see what people were saying and then maybe see what like the chief was saying and things like that. The protests moved between New Haven and Hamden. One that we went to down in New Haven was uh, very tame. Uh, it was actually kind of like cohesive because the people were protesting the police and then the same police officers they were protesting were also there to protect them. So, you know, um, Normally police, I feel like we try to disperse kind of thing, but they said they wanted to march to Hamden and the police officer said okay. They got in their cars and drove slowly in front of the protest lines that they could march all the way to Hamden if they pleased. With Quinnipiac being a part of the greater New Haven area, these students wanted to recognize that this is something that took place in their community. It was just something that kind of like seen on social media, everything that had been happening. I just thought it would be important to like show up kind of out of curiosity and to show support for the community because I just feel like Quinnipiac doesn't really get involved in like the greater New Haven community too much and it's something I kind of like to see change. They're looking to see if change will happen in the future. Uh, I'd like to see more outreach between the community and the police department and the mayor's office in Hamden. I know there's a lot of frustration at the protests. As Connecticut State Police continue to investigate the situation, another protest is planned for Thursday at 5.30 p.m. in New Haven. In Hamden, Brooke Riley, Q30 News.